No, you listen. The last time I will see you, I will not only shout, I will scream. In fact, I will report you to eBay. He goat, shameless he goat. Have you come to defy my daughter? It will not work for you. Shameless young man. And you, hey. <laughs> I have warned you. I have warned you! went to see him. I said I need to be left alone. I love you, Wamala. Of course, I do. I love you like every other mother would naturally love her child. I care about your feelings. I care about your emotional trauma. Of course, I have been there, so I understand how you feel right now. If you truly do, Mother, you would not be sitting here and talking to me. I do. I do. But the only difference is that we are called. We are called to help salvage mankind. We are called to ease of the pains of mankind. The gods have chosen... The gods, my tales. The gods, my moonlight tales. This is blasphemy, my child. You don't have to blaspheme against that which is able to make and unmake you. Please, come to think of it, mother. Are these gods not selfish? Do they care about their own satisfaction alone? Do they even think about my own satisfaction? My, my joy as a human, my, my happiness. Do they care about me? Don't speak so unrolling against the gods. Oh, what, mother? <sighs> They'll take my life? At this point, I think it's better. It's better to just go than, than burning and, and dying in this misery called life. No. Mamala. She was there when I was accused of being the reason Obi Ajula died. She brought her back to life. Then she looked at me the same way she looked at me today. I saw it as a warning to retrain from maidens. But listen, Hukum, not even all the warnings from the gods will ever make me lose you. I cannot lose you. I do not have anything to do with her or any maiden in this entire kingdom. I'm sorry for accusing you wrongly. Please forgive me. I have forgiven you. I cannot even afford not to forgive you. You are my ward. You are my totality. My everything. My heart. Omale Chow. Obim. Come here. 
Thank you for forgiving me. You're welcome. You? Yes, me. What do you want from me? Everything. I want everything in you. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, everything. Your legs, I want everything that makes you who you are. That will not be possible. My heart belongs to another. Don't you dare say those words to me. Don't! Now look at me. Look at me! Now! to talk or what? I could not. Just like my mother did, just like I did, and just like your grandmother did, we overcame. You will. Welcome, ma'am. <laughs> what is bothering you? Nothing. I thought you said you loved me with all your heart. Yes. Then why lie to me? Lie to you, how? About what is bothering you? I am fine. It is not a lie. Okay, I I made in salad soup for you from those fishes we got from the river. I am not hungry. You're not hungry. It's here, I'm hungry. With her. Are you sure it's not what I'm thinking? My dear, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Oh, you don't I knew it! Way. Imagine. Who could be his nest with? I don't know. And the fish is very big, oh. Ah! Very big! Come, come, come. Let's go out. Ah! It's not one thing, eh? I will eat this, this food. I will just eat it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't see that. Eh? It's Akbu. <laughs> my favorite. In short, my favorite. Ah! I'm going to eat it.
What do you want from me? Everything. I want everything in you. Your eyes, your nose, your mouth, everything. Your legs, I want everything that makes you who you are. I knew it. I knew that once he succeeded in sleeping with me, I would amount to nothing in his eyes. He didn't even notice my presence. Obidike, that would always stand at the sight of me. He ignored me and ignored my food. <laughs> How can men be this heartless? After everything I told him before accepting his proposal, after all the promises he made to me, he had the mind to treat me this way. Is it? Oh. What is it? It has happened. What happened? Bidike has left to go mad. <laughs> so soon? Oh. My sister. I knew it. Mm. I know that he's going to leave her. Obidike is not a man. Mm -mm. He's a beast. A beast. <laughs> She's not going through. Passing the same thing you went through. <coughs> Crying all over the place. I pity her. Hmm. Come to think of it. Why is Obidike like this? No. Why? After the warning the Igwe gave to him, why does he drive joy breaking people's hearts? My sister. I don't Hi. know. I don't know. Hmm. So, where is the good man now? I don't know. Maybe hey. we'll go and check and see for ourselves. <laughs> They have seen what we saw, mm. and their heads are now smaller than our you own. See, <laughs> <laughs> now you know. <laughs> Tell me what is going on. Obidike, who is she? What is going on? Tell me, talk to me. Are we still together? Or who is this maiden? Or, or you're done with me? It is not like I, I am done with you, but there is something more important to me than this relationship. Believe me. Something more important? than us, than our relationship, than our future. Obidike, what is that thing that is more important? It is personal. Very personal. I am not lying to you. Who is she? Who is she? There is no she anywhere look into my eyes and tell me you're not seeing another maiden you can't obidike you can't the gods of this land will judge you if after everything i told you at the beginning of this journey 
And you decided to treat me like this. The gods will judge you. I have not done anything wrong. The gods will not judge me. there show yourself you yes me what do you want you. Me? Yes. You. You have succeeded in igniting a fire in my heart and in my bones. After the last experience, I could not take my mind off you. You are such a beauty. Truly, you are from the gods. Everything that makes me a man wants you. I want to be with you. You should leave now before my mother meets you here. I saw her leaving. And I'm sure she is not going to be back anytime soon. As if you know where she went to. Then let's leave her. Come with me. Wait, wait. Where are you taking me to? Come. There is fire in your eyes. Yes. I know about it. I saw it in your eyes that very day. Now the fire has cut, cut my eyes too. It is burning in my eyes. It is burning in my heart. It is burning in my bones. I cannot stop. Even if I try to, it is irresistible.
please, please, do not do this. Please, I, I beg you, don't. Why would you want to quench this fire? Why? The gods. They, they understand. They do. My mother. Wait, 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 wait. Take your hands off me, I have to go. But How can you decide to play with fire? I'm asking you. Why? Have you decided to risk your life and destiny on the altar of pleasure? I did not do anything. Now, where did you go to? I, I did not go anywhere. I, I, I was around. Where? I'm asking you, around where? Oh, immediately you saw my feet leaving. You sneaked out without your staff of power. You. I was around. I, I, I did not go anywhere. The question is around where? Around where? Now you listen. I am not going to say anything about this again. I will not. If you like, you listen. If you like, don't. What has she done to me? What has this maiden done to me? I cannot speak out of my mind. What has she done? What is it? Before you start telling me what and what not I did not do. Oh, no. I'm only here to congratulate you for yet another victory won. What victory? Ah, your latest victory won, of course. I do not know what you're talking about. Oh, Ugoma. Yes, Ugoma. You have done to her what you know how to do best. Thinking you have something reasonable to say. Keep it on. Just know that the gods are watching you. Have mercy upon my daughter Wamala. Pardon her mistakes. She's nothing but a little girl. Spare her life. Spare her gift. Spare her destiny. Do not look upon her foolishness. 
with so much anger. Do not obstruct what you deposited in her to save humanity. I beg of you, Jo Kike, to spare her life. I do not know what you're talking about. Have mercy on yourself. Huh? Have mercy on yourself. Look at how you are doing your waist. Hey! Ashiba! An orphan like you, you deserve you deserve someone better, someone like me, someone that will show you love and cherish you, someone that is willing and ready to share in your loneliness, someone that is ready to be there for you. But instead, you chose him, Obidike of all people. Well, thanks to the gods that the truth is finally out. What you're doing now was the same thing OBDK did. Little did I know that he came to deceive me. How am I even sure that you will not do worse? Mm. Please, people should leave me. I'm not interested in anything. Goma, calm down, calm down. I am not. I am not like him. I am different. I swear on my mother's grave and on my life. Goma, I will not touch you. <laughs> I'm not interested. You see, you, you need someone, you need a real friend like me to pull you through these things you have been through. You need someone like me. Greetings, great one. You better keep it to yourself. What are you doing I, in that sacred place? I, I, I came to see if you can, if you can, um... Were you not the same person our ego warned about the maidens in this community? Um, no, it, it is not what you think. I... No, you listen! If I see you in this compound again, Great one, please. You, you, you're shouting. Oh, really? I'm shouting? Yes. Okay. Now, you listen! The last time I will see you, I will not only shout, I will scream! In fact, I will report you to Igwe! Igwe! Shameless 
he goes. Have you come to defy my daughter? It will not work for you. Shameless young man. And you, hey! <laughs> I have warned you. I have warned you! Why is he frequenting this road these days? Who is he after now? Who lives in this Aziz? Mwaka? No, it can't be. Are you sure it is not? No, it is not possible. After my son, eh? I've not seen my son this scared before. Obi, Go to the palace here yeah, and tell the Igwe that I'll be with you shortly. Because that is done, the good one. You may go. I mean, where is Wamala? Igwe, on her way coming, she suddenly stopped and said we should come back to you to tell you that she will soon be with you. What? Yes, Igwe. Why would she do that? This is very strange. And it never happened before. 
Why would she suddenly change her mind from embarking on a journey she was really set out for? How did this get here? No. No, 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 no. We cannot come this far for us to lose it. Hey! No, no! We have lost it! We have lost it! We have lost it! Ha! Now where has she gone? No! my eyes have seen my ears. Hey, please, can you just go straight to the point? I don't have time for all this red What is the problem? What is Hi. it? Igwe Alue, man. Igwe, as I was on the tree, tapping my pan wine, I looked under the tree and I saw Obidike and Wamala having canal knowledge of each other. <laughs> as I was looking, Trying to be sure of what I saw, the tree uprooted and smashed both of them to pieces. What? Hey, Igwe, I, I have never seen this type of thing before. No, 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 you are, you are telling me what you saw. Hi, Igwe, it, it, it was terrible. Hi, 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 Igwe, hi. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Gods of our land! Where have you brought me to? Where am I? Where is this place? If I have wronged you, why not take my life? Take me! Let me go! What am I doing here? Where is this place? Gods of our land! Just kill me! Take me! Where is this place? This is the voice of my daughter. That's not a voice of victory at all. Gods of our land. Please do not suffer her spirit, soul, and body more than she can bear. Gods of our land, I lift my hands towards you and I ask that you have mercy upon her stupidity. I ask that you have mercy upon her childishness. I ask that you have mercy upon her stubbornness.
Ah, Mama La. How art the mighty fallen? Ah. You want to hear The light has been taken away from our land and darkness has possessed our land. Why will Mamara? Why will she die without transferring her powers to anyone? She inherited those powers from her mother. And her mother inherited from her own mother. And that one inherited from her own mother and it followed in that way. Now, Wamala has ended everything. It simply means that the gods are no longer with us. Igwe. Hi. That young man was sent to ruin our land. And he has achieved his purpose. What a cause he has brought upon us. Hi. What a tragedy. What a tragedy indeed. Oh, BGK! <laughs> oh, BGK, mama! <laughs> Who told you? It was a good way to leave this world, the same axis. You came into it! <laughs> Hey, you came into this world <laughs> through the parted, parted legs of a woman. <laughs> you left this world <laughs> through the same parted legs of a woman. OBDK. <laughs> you never thought. Of, of the widow you left behind. <laughs> Your mother that has preserved you for a very long time. In a far away village, your father's kinsmen who wanted your death in order to inherit your father's land would not succeed. <laughs> when I thought I have defeated them, <laughs> when I thought I have beaten them, <laughs> they have succeeded. <laughs> you love this world. <laughs> Without leaving any grandson behind, OBDK. Hey, hey, Obi Abogum. Obi Abogum. A son of Uma, you have made me. A son of Uma. <laughs> you have made me a son of Uma, OBDK. <laughs> You made me a sort of a woman. You so bad, you know. Until we see them, we see again. I never to depart. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that the practical steps of Umwamala were not ordinary. <laughs> Since it, my major concern is why OBDK? That same man that has caused a lot of damages to the maidens of this entire village. Maybe you. Maybe I've been thinking this thing, this thing is really bothering me. Maybe he was arrested by the ghosts for ruling the lives of the maidens of this village. You never can tell. You never can tell. This has gone beyond that, my sister. This is doomed to the entire village. Even without the special one. Can you can you imagine? Hmm. Not just a do. This is a very big abomination. Hmm. A very big one. They need to do something about this. So.
I don't need your food. Just take me back to my people or kill me. I'm not hungry. Take me back. I'm not hungry. Just take me back. She is with a child. We are not doomed after all. She is with a child. The hope of this village.
A boy, another girl this time. Yes, finally, the gods have not left us. The god still lives amongst us. Oh, yes, they do. Thank you. The ghost of the land directed I should drop him to you. He's an offspring of Wamala, the last custodian of the strange power. <laughs> he shall be raised in this palace as a prince. Prince of power. Hmm. Prince of figure. Hmm. His hair on his head will never be cut down till eternity. Hmm. For the great powers which he possesses and inherited from his mother, Wamala. Hmm. Hmm. And uh, finally, the gods return, <laughs> not as a female, but as a male, a son, a prince. <laughs> this calls for celebration, and I hear the creed <laughs> that on the next day came market day, all the men and women of this kingdom shall gather. For us to celebrate the new custodian of the strange power. It simply means that the gods have not abandoned us after all. <laughs> The doctor of the great priestess Wando, the great goddess, the great goddess, yeah. Yeah. 
She don't know what to do She does not know How to go about this feeling ah, She needs a touch She needs someone To hold her tight Cause she's in love She's in love with a man 